Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of hacking gadgets. You know, those devices that seem like they're straight out of a spy movie. We're talking about the tech that can actually give you some serious control over other devices. We'll be looking at five of the most popular hacking gadgets out there. Some of these are small enough to fit in your pocket, but they pack some serious power. We're going to break down how they work, what makes them so effective, and of course, the very important ethical considerations. Because with great power comes great responsibility, right? So whether you're a tech enthusiast, a cybersecurity pro, or just curious about the tools of the trade, stick around. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of hacking gadgets. These devices are not only fascinating, but also incredibly powerful. Let's get started. First up, we have the Wi-Fi Pineapple. This device might look small and unassuming, but don't let its size fool you. This little device is a favorite among ethical hackers and penetration testers, and for good reason. It's packed with features that make it incredibly powerful for network security testing. It's essentially a portable rogue access point that lets you intercept and analyze Wi-Fi traffic. This means you can see all the data that flows through the network. Imagine you're at a coffee shop using their public Wi-Fi. You think you're connected to a safe network, but that might not always be the case. Now with a Wi-Fi pineapple, someone could potentially set up a fake network with the same name as the coffee shop's Wi-Fi. This is known as a man-in-the-middle attack. Unsuspecting users might connect to it, thinking it's the legitimate network. They wouldn't even realize that their data is being intercepted. And that's where things get interesting. The hacker can monitor all the traffic that goes through this fake network. Once connected, the Wi-Fi pineapple can capture all the data passing through it. This includes sensitive information that users might be sending or receiving. We're talking passwords, emails, browsing history, you name it. Anything that goes through the network can be intercepted and analyzed. It's like having a window into someone's online activity. You can see everything they're doing in real time. Now, before you freak out, remember that using the Wi-Fi pineapple for malicious purposes is illegal. It's important to use this tool responsibly and ethically. But for security professionals, it's an invaluable tool for testing the security of their own networks. They can simulate attacks to see how their systems hold up. They can use it to identify vulnerabilities and patch them up before a real attacker exploits them. This proactive approach helps in strengthening network defenses. Plus, the Wi-Fi Pineapple can do a lot more than just capture data. It has advanced features that make it a versatile tool for various security tasks. It can also inject code, redirect traffic, and even create fake captive portals. These features allow for comprehensive testing of network security. It's a versatile tool that can be used for a wide range of security testing scenarios. Whether you're testing for vulnerabilities or simulating attacks, the Wi-Fi Pineapple has you covered. So, yeah, the Wi-Fi Pineapple is a pretty powerful piece of kit. It's a must-have for anyone serious about network security. It's a great example of how a small, unassuming device can give you a surprising amount of control over wireless networks. With great power comes great responsibility, so use it wisely. Next up is a device that's small in size but big on impact, the USB Rubber Ducky. This little gadget has become a favorite among hackers and security professionals alike for its sheer versatility and power. Now, this might look like an ordinary flash drive, but trust me, it's anything but. At first glance, it blends in perfectly with the myriad of USB drives we use every day, making it an ideal tool for covert operations. The rubber ducky is a keystroke injection tool, which means it can send commands to a computer as if you were typing them on a keyboard. This allows it to execute tasks with the same privileges as the user logged into the system. Here's how it works. You plug the rubber ducky into a computer's USB port, and it instantly pretends to be a keyboard. The computer recognizes it as a human interface device, or HIID, and accepts its input without question. But instead of you typing, the rubber ducky executes pre-programmed scripts that you've loaded onto it. These scripts can be customized to perform a wide range of actions, from simple text input to complex sequences of commands. These scripts can do all sorts of things, from opening a backdoor on a system to stealing saved passwords. The possibilities are nearly endless, limited only by the creativity of the person writing the script. The beauty of the rubber ducky is its simplicity and speed. It's designed to be user-friendly, allowing even those with minimal technical knowledge to deploy it effectively. 
It can inject hundreds of words per minute, much faster than any human could type. This rapid execution makes it incredibly efficient for both testing and real-world attacks. Plus, because it looks like a harmless USB drive, it often goes unnoticed. This stealth factor is one of its greatest strengths, allowing it to bypass physical security measures with ease. This makes it a popular tool for penetration testers who want to simulate real-world attacks. By using the rubber ducky, they can demonstrate how easily a system can be compromised through physical access. Of course, like any hacking tool, the rubber ducky can be used for malicious purposes. In the wrong hands, it can cause significant damage, highlighting the importance of robust security measures. But in the right hands, it's a valuable tool for security awareness training and demonstrating the importance of physical security. It serves as a powerful educational device, showing just how vulnerable systems can be. It's a stark reminder that sometimes, the most unassuming devices can pose the biggest threats. The USB rubber ducky is a testament to the fact that in the world of cybersecurity, appearances can be deceiving. Let's talk about the Flipper Zero. This little device has been making waves in the tech community, and for good reason. This thing is like the Swiss Army knife of hacking gadgets, packed with features that'll make any tech enthusiast drool. It's not just a tool, it's a playground for anyone interested in the world of hacking and security. It's got this playful, almost toy-like design, but don't let that fool you. It's a seriously powerful tool. The design is actually quite deceptive, making it look harmless while packing a punch in terms of functionality. So what can the Flipper Zero do? The list is pretty extensive, and it keeps growing as the community around it develops new features and applications. Well, for starters, it's got a built-in RFID reader and emulator. This means it can interact with a wide range of RFID tags, which are used in many everyday applications. That means you can read, clone, and even emulate RFID tags, making it incredibly versatile for various tasks, like the ones you find in key cards, access cards, and other security systems. This opens up a lot of possibilities for both good and bad uses, and even some payment systems. But wait, there's more! The Flipper Zero's capabilities don't stop there. The Flipper Zero can also send infrared signals, which is another layer of its multifunctionality, which means you can control TVs, air conditioners, and other IR-enabled devices. Imagine the convenience of having a universal remote in your pocket. It even has a built-in sub-GZ radio, adding yet another dimension to its capabilities, which lets you mess around with garage door openers, car alarms, and other wireless systems. This can be particularly useful for testing the security of these systems. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds like a recipe for disaster, right? And you're not wrong. The potential for misuse is definitely there. The Flipper Zero is incredibly powerful, and with great power comes great responsibility. And it's important to use it responsibly. Ethical considerations should always be at the forefront when using such a device. But in the hands of security researchers and ethical hackers, it becomes an invaluable tool for understanding and testing the security of everyday devices. It can help identify vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by malicious actors. It's an invaluable tool for understanding and testing the security of everyday devices. This can lead to stronger, more secure systems overall. Plus, let's be honest, there's a certain coolness factor to having a gadget that can do all this stuff. It's like a tech lover's dream come true. It's like having a little piece of hacker magic in your pocket. Whether you're a professional or just a curious enthusiast, the Flipper Zero offers a world of possibilities. Now we're getting into some serious radio frequency territory with the HackRF1. This is a software-defined radio, or SDR for short, and it's basically a radio enthusiast's dream come true. It lets you transmit and receive radio signals across a wide frequency range from 1 MAZ to 6 GZ. Think of it like this. A traditional radio is like a one-trick pony. It can only tune into a specific frequency range, but the HackRF1 is like a chameleon. It can adapt to different frequencies, making it incredibly versatile. You can use the Hacker F1 to listen to police scanners, track aircraft, explore amateur radio frequencies, and even experiment with your own wireless communication protocols. It's a powerful tool for learning about radio frequency communication and exploring the invisible world of radio waves. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility. Transmitting on certain frequencies without a license is illegal, so it's crucial to use the Hack RF1 ethically and within the bounds of the law. But for researchers, hobbyists, and anyone curious about the world of radio, 
The Hack RF1 is an incredible tool for exploration and experimentation. It's a reminder that there's a whole universe of invisible signals out there just waiting to be discovered. Last but not least, we have the Proxmark 3, the RFID master of the hacking world. This device is specifically designed for interacting with RFID systems, and it's capable of some seriously impressive feats. We're talking about reading, cloning, and emulating a wide range of RFID tags from low-frequency to high-frequency systems. Now RFID technology is everywhere these days, it's in our credit cards, our passports, our key fobs, even in some implanted medical devices. And the Proxmark 3 gives you the power to understand and manipulate these systems. For security researchers, the Proxmark 3 is an invaluable tool for testing the security of RFID implementations. They can use it to identify vulnerabilities in access control systems, payment systems, and other RFID-based technologies. But of course, like any powerful tool, the Proxmark 3 can be misused. It's essential to use it responsibly and ethically, and to be aware of the potential privacy implications of interacting with RFID systems. The Proxmark 3 is a reminder that even seemingly invisible technologies like RFID can be vulnerable to exploitation. It's a call to action for companies and organizations to take RFID security seriously and to implement robust security measures to protect sensitive data. So, there you have it. Five hacking gadgets that can give you some serious control over other devices. From intercepting Wi-Fi traffic to manipulating RFID systems, these tools are a testament to the ingenuity of the hacking community. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. These gadgets can be used for good, for security research, ethical hacking, and education. Or they can be used for malicious purposes, which can have serious consequences. It's up to each of us to use our knowledge and skills responsibly and to promote a culture of ethical hacking. Because at the end of the day, technology is a tool, and it's up to us to decide how we use it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech content. See you in the next video.